We've all ordered something online, only to have the mail carrier notify us it's been delivered, but nothing actually ever shows up. So what happens to these unclaimed or lost packages of mail? A lot of them end up at these mail recovery centers. They hold on to them for a while, but after 30 to 60 days, the mail is either donated or it's auctioned off. And today I bought 100 of the lost mail packages and we're gonna open them together. They're not from Home Depot, they're in the Home Depot boxes. <laughs> the first time that I ever saw somebody do this was like a year ago. It was Selena Spooky Boo on TikTok. We have Uber Lube <laughs> and it's, <laughs> it's leaking. <laughs> Next up, ooh, both by Michael Connolly, Nightfire file and the something. Last but not least, this feels like another like material thing. Jeans! I just love how excited she gets about every package. She's done a whole bunch of these over there. A bunch of people have. And today, we're gonna test our luck. Okay. So each of these boxes has about 20 packages in them each. I bid online for these. And let me tell you, I kind of spent a lot. <laughs> but if there's some like legit finds in here, it could be worth it. It could be more than worth it. Previous boxes that we've bid on and gotten like this came with at least a few photos and a detailed manifest of all of the items included. However, these boxes had no information and literally just this for the pictures. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at them all. So these boxes are all from a few different sellers and I ended up paying a bunch of different prices for them. But in total, I paid $3,281.53 for 115 packages. Basically each of these packages has to be worth at least $28.53 for this purchase to be worth it. And at the end, I'm gonna total up everything that's in the boxes and see what it's really worth. And stick around, because I'm sure you're wondering what I'm gonna do with it. I'll tell you that too. First package. Oh. It's a... It's not even a DeWalt name brand, it's like a total knockoff. Are you serious? <laughs> well, we're not off to a good start. Item number two. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm scared of it. It smells weird. It's definitely used because it smells like perfume and still has bobby pins left in it. Next. Yeah. Like a men's shirt. Dickies. <laughs> Give me something cute. Fruit of the Loom, are you kidding me? Hey, that's cute. I mean, I would wear it, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's not worth $23. Let's try this big one. It's a curler set. Oh, that's gotta be worth at least $28.53. Hope so. Probably. Hot Waivers brand. Another shirt. Chains. Really high end. What the heck is this? Chin lifting mask? Well, let's both do it tonight and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> Me! This might be for you! It's a hoodie! Clearly somebody already put it on their dog because he's going crazy. Lee, how does it fit? <laughs> it's a little small. Oh, what is this? Shapewear? Skims? Oh, Capizio leotard. Wow, this brings back memories. <laughs> Bag sealer. Oh wait, that's not bad actually. It's a little skirt. I feel like I could wear that golfing maybe. The brand is, it's definitely not a golf brand. Ooh, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Here is the right for you as the Mr. Right beside you. Avid Love makes your life better, higher, comfortable. Made in China. Okay, we've got this tiny package. I don't know what this is, but I'm scared of it. Does anybody know what this is? Oh, a phone case. It's actually kind of cute, honestly. It has like little sparkles around the edges. What is this thing? Oh, wait, Lee Buddy. That's definitely broken. <laughs> oh, self tanner. Another tiny leotard. Okay, be something good. <sighs> Yoga sleep, what is it? Maybe like a white noise machine? Oh, uh, it's a critter food dispenser. Lee, you're too big for this. Suspenders. As seen on Larry King himself. Well, this is to get fleas off of cats. Do you think it would work on you? Oh, a makeup eraser. These are actually pretty nice. <laughs> it's just a little makeup remover towel thing. Okay, we might actually finally have something good. It's 
Okay. There's some little Steve Madden shoes. They look pretty brand new still too. They're a size, size seven and a half. So they won't fit me, but big box. What the heck? Fire starter. Lighting nuggets. Oh yeah, like for your uh, grill. Tiny heater? Yeah. <laughs> We're officially done with box number one. Can't say it was worth $400, let alone a thousand. So hopefully the other ones are better. The other ones are from other vendors. Oh, this one's heavy. Ah! And also a quick word from today's sponsor, Honey. Okay, we've got some legit USPS boxes and people's legit addresses on them. <laughs> oh, this one's leaking. Ah! Honey is my favorite shopping sidekick. It's a little button that lives at the top of your browser. And while you're shopping for all the stuff you were already gonna get at a bunch of the sites that you were already on, it's going to auto automatically search the entire internet and try to find the best possible promo codes that are floating around out there. Honey on average finds an 18% discount on everything from makeup to clothing to home goods and more. For example, I was just online the other day shopping for an upcoming YouTube video and Honey saved me $31.20. Should we open this one that's leaking? <laughs> I'm scared. Aroma Essentials Sea Salt Scrub. And if you already have honey on your computer, make sure to get it on your phone as well. That way, whether you're at home or you're out, honey can try to save you money. So to add honey to your computer and your phone, go to joinhoney.com slash hope. That's joinhoney.com slash hope. Oh, what? <laughs> it's... Shoes. They look super used. Let's open this tiny pink one next. Is that even allowed? Oh. Like without I don't know if I'm allowed to show this on my YouTube channel. I mean, there's stuff in them. They smell kind of good. No, they kind of do. And this is a We're definitely not putting those on there. Do you think this is the same thing? No, it's a tiny bag. Oh, it's a little necklace. That's actually really cute. Totally something I would wear. Oh, this one has a warning all over it. Pilfer proof tape. Oh, it's definitely been pilfered. <laughs> Fashion file. That's a purse. It looks nice. Halston. Yeah, it does look pretty nice. Has like a leathery back and then a suede front. What is fashion file? I've heard of that. Shop, sell, repeat. Oh dang, they have like Hermes stuff on their site. Next. Some more phone cases. <laughs> There's no way that's real, right? These screen protectors look nice though. Where are all the cute clothes? Maybe in here. Well, I mean, that's kind of cute. It looks too small for me, but. UPS, what do you got for us? Oh, it's a, whoa. Oh, it's a little matching set. We have the sweatshirt and the shorts. It's actually really cute. Size extra small. Oh, wee. Oh no. <laughs> dog and got excited, but it's a extendable pull for dog urine sample collection. Oh, so you can like reach under them? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be a good one. It's packed really nice. With <gasps> it's a candle? Oh, I love candles. Oh, it's a scary candle. What's in it? I don't, ah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the look of it. I, I'm scared of it for some reason. Send it to Sophia. Um... Oh, we got some Gucci socks. <laughs> Give them to me. Okay, you can have them. <laughs> wow, <laughs> they fit perfect. Those are like the plainest notebooks. <laughs> what? Oh, this looks cute. Glossy box. Oh, it's really cute. Okay, we've got some, some hairspray, some oil, serum. Ooh. Tyler. What? Yeah. Why does this always happen to us? I don't know. It's from Fashion File too. No. I mean, I'm assuming they have some sort of authentication. This could be legit. <laughs> it's a scarf. No way. It just has like super subtle logo on it. That's all it came with. There's no like anything else. That is definitely worth more than $28.53. <laughs> Next. Oh, some Olay face masks. <laughs> They're still sealed. Undies. Like a weird package for underwear to come in. <laughs> and it makes it weirder because there's a bunch of these in it too. <laughs> I think I intercepted a very personal package. Okay, next. This is 
I'll see. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. What is that? A fishing brand? I mean, it feels nice. It's... I mean, it looks like a dog sweater, but it's shredded at the bottom. <laughs> what the heck? I don't know. Oh, this is heavy. Could be good. Wood floor cleaner. <laughs> um... Oh, no, it's like a little wall decoration. That's pretty nice, actually. I will find somewhere cute to put that. It's a cute swimsuit. It's a little one piece that crisscrosses up the side from the Bikini Lab. Some more little, oh, these are like little travel size skin cares. And they've been opened though. Double wrapped contact lens cleaner. Is that what it is? Well, I don't have contacts. Oh, we! It's another thing for you. Oh, it's gonna be too tiny, but that's adorable. <laughs> Oven mitt. It's brand new. Okay, we've got some shoes. Kind of cute. Hand warmers. Why do they smell so weird? A lot of hand warmers. Oh, and some feet ones. Last one in this box. Oh, no way. It's a tiny. Harley Davidson jacket. No. Lee, way. you gotta wear this one. And a tiny hat. <laughs> <laughs> Lee. <laughs> hey, do you hate it? <laughs> oh, it's nice. Encyclopedia of World History. Oh, it's actually quite quite pretty of a book. Ah. Create your own garden stones. Oh, you paint them. How cute. Mickey Mouse Advent Calendar. It's a rough shape. <laughs> yeah, someone like opened a few of them and then sent it back. Another phone case. Oh, it's an OtterBox one. These ones are nice. Power scrubber. Well, what do you use this for? Grout lines, corners, crevices, tight spaces. For my teeth. It does kind of. <laughs> Looks like a giant toothbrush. Oh. Whoa. That smells really strong. Oh, laundry pods? Dang, if it wasn't opened, I'd probably keep them. Oh, this is like a little, this ties. And then arms go through here. Ooh, astrology cards. Do you want me to tell your future? Independence, bravery, and passion. That's not a future. <laughs> what are these? I mean, they're cute cards though. Awful lot of bras and underwears. Calvin Klein, that's a nice one though. <laughs> I feel like something illegal is gonna be in this. Oh. Oh, that's not illegal. <gasps> no way. It's actually a pretty good looking watch too. Oh, is it leggings? Yes, it's leggings. Skechers brand. <laughs> they actually feel pretty nice and they have pockets. More bras, a lacy one. My heart gymnastics tree ornament. Oh, it's a little baby onesie that tucks their feet in. I'm surprised there hasn't been more baby clothes, honestly. Okay, we got a big box of wood hangers. Let's see what they look like. Oh, these are pretty. I'm definitely gonna keep these. It's a cord. And the last thing in this box, Amazon Essentials flannel shirt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Box number four, baby toys. Ooh, okay. We've got a champion something. Oh, some sweatpants. Okay, those are pretty nice. HD TV distribution amplifier. Well, this is wrapped cute, whatever it is. Really, here I'm getting my hopes up in its underwear. Ooh, this feels nice. Oh, it's like a little sweater dress. Ooh, silk. <laughs> oh, it's like a little head wrap. That's really nice. 100% mulberry silk. It's the best kind. Is it? Mm. Binkies. <laughs> um, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a mouse trap. Look at the little picture at the bottom. Light bulb. Oh, this is heavy, whatever it is. This looks like a sprinkler system part. So many phone cases. Oh, this is an Apple one. Nice. It's totally wrecked. It's wrecked? Look at the top corner. Yo. I think I had this exact phone case at one time. <gasps> is this what I think it is? <gasps> yes. 
this. This is my favorite brand of hair styling tools. T3. Oh my gosh, and it's this one that comes with all the different things. This is a good find. It may be the only good find in this box, but it's a good find. <laughs> This feels fluffy. Ooh, it's a coat. Cascade Mountain Tech. Oh, it's a sleeping bag. Wow. If I would take it out, I'll never get it back in there. <laughs> How are they counting this as a package? Oh my goodness. It's a pop socket. <laughs> there are like a couple really good things and then the rest are just complete disappointments. Oh, oh sad. Yeah. It smells pretty good too. That's smells so sad. amazing. Oh, a hummingbird feeder. I was literally gonna go buy one of these, so I'm keeping this. I have a little crack in it. Last box in this box. Oh, ruby slippers. <laughs> They're like brand new. Size uh, seven. Last box. Hopefully the best box. All right, here we go. No. This could be good or it could be a super fake Louis Vuitton t-shirt. <laughs> Why is it in that bag? I feel betrayed. Um, what is this box? <laughs> I mean, I don't think Louis Vuitton makes anything like this, especially bedazzled, but hair dryer, <laughs> a Remington hair dryer. Oh no. You already know what this is gonna be. Mostly Most naughty. I. Some girls are like making a killing off of that business though. I'm not judging. Oh, uh, these are Leo's favorite. The Greenies Dental Treats. Hey, Lee. Oh my gosh. Is that for a dog? <laughs> that is the tiniest thing I've ever seen. What in the Louis Vuitton swimsuit? Talk about like she and level quality too with the wire poking out. Oh, these are headphones. Those like a. Uh, AirPod copies. Dry erase marker. The letter J. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> more Gucci socks. <laughs> oh, they even match my leggings. 100% <laughs> cashmere scarf, fancy. Some clothes finally. A little dress, it's kinda cute. I can't tell if it's a kid's dress. GoPro, looks like it goes on your head. Or like a helmet and the camera attaches there. That's pretty nice. You got a t-shirt that says. <laughs> oh, this is the same little bag that the gold necklace came in. Uh, does anybody want to twin with me? Yeah, similar little gold necklace. Isn't that a gun brand? Yeah. Maybe we're about to go out with a bang. What the heck are these? <laughs> a razor? Ew! Ew, a really, Gross. really used razor. Gross. Why was it in this? All right, last box. Oh, it's another uh, decoration. Dream catcher. <laughs> well. That's it, that's the end. I'm sitting here editing this video and I'm realizing I'm pretty sure I just got scammed. Specifically with this last box, I'm just getting the feeling that somebody cleaned out a bunch of junk in their house, put it all in free USPS mailing bags, and I was the sucker that paid $1,000 for it. So I would just say steer clear of any of the lost mail listings. Okay, I totaled everything up that's not absolute trash and I'm keeping about $304 worth of stuff for myself. I'm donating these two big boxes of items. There's about $669 worth of stuff in in there and I saved some of the good stuff for you guys. There's about $685 worth of stuff in this box. This is all gonna be available on my website, shophopescope.com if you want a really good deal on any of it. That puts us at a grand total of $1,658. Definitely not making my money back on this one, <laughs> but I had a good time anyway. I mean, these hauls can't all be winners. Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And we're trying to pass Kim Kardashian in subscribers. We're gaining on her. Also make sure to check out my shorts channel if you haven't yet. Yet. And Leo and I will see you guys over in the next one. Say bye, YouTube.